researchers have, for about 50 years, have used single cylinder engines, and they've all operated about the same way. And um, we're trying to keep the nice attributes of that single cylinder engine, but get rid of all the drawbacks. We just have one cylinder of an engine, but the, the combination of the software and the hardware replicates everything else that's on the engine. So when we run it through the gears, it sounds just like an engine shifting, you know, if you're accelerating away from a light or something. Normally, say like for a cold start test on an engine, you have to have the whole engine built with all the intake, the spark, you know, everything for the engine, multi-cylinder engine. Where in this thing, you just need one cylinder. And so if you could move that cold start test to this engine, and get realistic representative results, you've knocked off probably a year or more out of the development cycle. Very important. My first career was actually a musician. I played trumpet in classical in symphony orchestras. And so I kind of have music in my blood. And I figured that's a really nice way for um, people to hear how fast this thing moves. Uh, we play on Wisconsin. <laughs> for a Bach partita, viol unaccompanied violin partita by Bach. And so it's really, you know, it's hard for a violin, but to have a dynamometer play this thing is, you know, there's no place else in the world you can do this. <laughs> Research Lab is uh, focused on systems, engine and powertrain systems, controls, and dynamics. So the controls and dynamics uh, feed in directly to this uh, device. And then also we develop what are called hardware in the loop systems. And hardware in the loop systems are where you have part hardware, part software, and integrate them all together so that they replicate the whole larger system. What we're doing with the musical demonstration is really uh, giving visitors an idea of how quickly this thing responds. It, it runs through transients, which are very quick changes, like you do with a real automobile. So it really shortens the time length that it takes to develop engines, as well as you can start the process much earlier. <laughs> 